It's tempting to think that social media is just for teenagers, but the raw truth is that 75% of American adults are connecting in networks through Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google+. How can you take advantage of those numbers? <laughs> Stay tuned, I'm going to tell you. Hello from beautiful Southern Indiana. Colin Receiver here. I'm glad you could join me as we continue our overview of my book, Attract More Patients in the Next Six Months Than in the Last Six Years. Today, we're taking a look at how to optimize your presence on the top four social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google. Let's begin by taking a look at the most popular, Facebook. The key to a successful Facebook page is to get patients and potential patients to interact with you. Using special custom pages and opt-ins to encourage patients to like you is very effective. Likes are important because they show up on the newsfeed of every person who's your friend uh, with your patients. Now, Twitter works a little differently. You can still post links, videos, offers, and personal moments, but you aren't looking for likes. The key to Twitter is the retweet. When someone enjoys an article or a video you posted, they have the option to retweet that article, which could gain you a larger network of followers. You can use Twitter to build relationships with patients and potential patients. All it takes is the use of the at sign symbol to connect, comment, and answer questions. LinkedIn has a great way to connect with patients as well as professionals. Your network grows as you follow others and are followed. One great way to gain attention on LinkedIn is to answer questions posed on the network. You'll gain attention and will be labeled as an expert in the dental industry. You can link to posts of these and other social networking sites to add depth to your online presence. Finally, let's talk about Google+. Each social network has exciting tools, but Google Plus Hangouts is something that's not used by many dentists. Hangouts allows you to chat with several people at the same time. It's a great way for you to host an online seminar about a procedure or maybe give you the opportunity to talk with your patients directly about questions they might have. The possibilities are endless, but your patients will love the chance for personal connection from the comfort of their own home. Social networking sites are always evolving, but the underlying fact is still the same. The whole point of investing time in social networking is for you to connect on a personal level with your current and potential patients. The patients, your patients, are looking for you. But what will they find? Check back tomorrow as we take a look at the role of blogging. Until then, keep moving forward. Mm -hmm.